Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. I have my lovely wife Christina running the camera today. Hey y'all. And we're here to show you a pre-owned tiny house that we have for sale here at our shop. It is eight and a half feet wide by 26 feet long by 13 and a half feet tall. It has a modern design with a multi-level roof. Uh, half the exterior is the smart side lapboard siding. The other half is a natural uh, pine wood shiplap vertical. Has a modern entry door with a two foot overhang to protect you from the rain. Let's go take a look at the utilities. And by the way, we did not build this home. This house was built by Nook Tiny Homes outside of Austin, Texas. And designed by the homeowner. She's an architect, so she designed. That's right. Did all the design work. <laughs> Uh, here's your 50 amp electrical connection and your breaker boxes. And around here we've got scissor jacks on all four corners to stabilize the tiny house. It's not for listing the house, it's just for stabilizing. You have an outdoor outlet disconnect for your mini split system. And you have your sewer connections here. There are two separate connections, a black water and a gray water connection. So if you need those to run to two separate places, you can. And then your- It's got a little leveling thing too. To oh yeah. you level. That's <laughs> yeah, the... stuck there. <laughs> and then uh, the uh, freshwater inlet is here on the front. So here's the, the bump out. On the hitch end there. Yeah, and this is the bump out in the bathroom area. All right, that's everything on the outside. Yeah, you want ready to go inside? Yeah, so you might notice that there's not very many windows. Um, she had a lot of artwork she wanted to put on the walls, so she added skylights for extra natural light, and then she's just um, reduced the price. So the price is in the description, and that $10,000 reduction can go toward putting a new window if you like. So here's the entryway. Enter into the mudroom and then slash laundry room. So a lot of people ask, can you put a side-by-side -side washing machine? My answer is yes. And those are apartment size. So that's a, a nice there's large a little, space here, some storage. Yeah. yeah, there's a little storage drawer underneath where I'm standing. And then some hooks for your stuff. Lots of room if you wanted to put a, you know, more organizing stuff in the mudroom here. Has a cozy living area with a L-shaped couch that pulls out to be a full-size bed. Uh, so if you have guests staying over, and th this comes with the house. Uh, there's storage inside the ottoman here as well. And then uh, it's got some strip lighting and a skylight in the living area to add, add light to the area. So you can add a picture window here behind the sofa. You could do one on this side, but this is where the TV goes. So there's some electrical yeah. stuff here. And there's also this little table which swivels here. You know, you can use it as a TV tray or an end table for your for your sofa. Does it raise? It does raise up and okay. down. Okay. And then um, just before we leave the window, that would be a, less than ten thousand. Yeah. To put a yeah. big picture window here. Yeah, absolutely. If you wanted to do that. All right, and then the kitchen area, you've got a butcher block countertops, um, everything's soft clothes in here. And why do we step down, up and down here? Tell everybody. Because of the wheel wells. <laughs> yeah, so, so and she under the couch here would be a wheel well, I guess. Yeah, and, and also she uh, designed in these drawers. There was a drawer by the entryway and there's a drawer here that also go underneath the living area. Then this house has the farmhouse sink. And the dishwasher. Yeah, built-in dishwasher. Little mini dishwasher. So cute. It has a plug-in induction cooktop and a built-in microwave. So you can take this cooktop down and put it under the counter. Yes. It's just it's not installed. Right. Okay. So it gives you more counter space if you want for your yeah. prepping. And so we'll show the fridge is nice and clean. 
cute nice little and retro. Cold in there. Yeah, so the freezer's down low with some drawers. Yeah, cute little retro fridge. And, oh, and then the little shelves above here. And the bathroom. So you can see the bump out where the toilet goes. And she's got a nice big shower in here. Real tile walls. Yeah. And tile in the bathroom and kitchen too on the floor. Yeah, the floor in the kitchen is tile. So she's got a little shampoo dispenser. A pretty cool shower head with a wand. And I guess those are jets that's, that shoot out yep. horizontally. Yep. Nice glass doors. So we'll show the vanity. Lots of nice storage in here. Do you want to show the hot water heater? Um, it's down it's, here. And yeah, it's got a child lock on it. So. Oh. It's kind of hard to get open. But. It's in the photos. I, just, I did it for the photos. Y'all <laughs> okay. can click. Photos on our website. <laughs> There's a link in the description with the price and the link not, to the, all the photos for the I'm not house. saying I can't open a child safety <laughs> lock, but... <laughs> And we got uh, lots of storage underneath the stairs here. It also has the pop-open drawers that we do, we do these a lot underneath our cabinets. This has got them here. In, yeah, the toe kick drawers. She has them underneath our. And they do you know, slide out pretty pretty big. Yeah. Oops. Make That's a scratching a nice noise. Storage. <laughs> and then storage. There's some storage drawers in the stairs as well. So this is, looks like our stand-up loft that we designed, but it's not quite because it's about four, well, it's four eight on the high side and four five when you get all the way down there to the wardrobe. So the homeowner is on the shorter side. And so once you sit on the bed, though, you can get into your wardrobe. Um, there's a more storage there in the back and then of course another skylight this one opens so that one's operable and then a queen size bed some more shelving nice window over here all right is that the whole house I think that's everything. They, we that's didn't everything. mention these cool lights. Yeah, there is a lot of cool lighting in here. There's under cabinet lights. There's this, um, uh, oh gosh, what do you call that? I don't know. Indirect lighting. Indirect lights. lighting. Thank yeah. you. Above the, above the living area here, above the kitchen. Yeah, it's just really neat little house. Uh, super cute. Super cozy. Prices in the video description. Yeah. So is the link to all the photos if you want to look at anything in detail send us a message a, a pm is that what what it's called <laughs> yeah <Or> dm, DM. <laughs> there's lots of <laughs> send us a message on our website it says contact us so that's the best way text email and phone yeah if you're interested let us know we'd love to talk to you and so this house will be available at all of our open houses to look at until it's sold and then if you are serious um you know and you need to come another time besides the open house we'll be happy to Show you the house, let you come hang out, see how it feels for a tiny house for you. Yeah, or if you're far away, we can do a, a video call as well and yes. do a, a private tour on video and answer any questions you have about the house as well. So so we do have this house in our possession. It's not a scam. Don't Y'all be careful about oh, sending yeah. money to folks. People have been using our photos. Yeah, that's right. So um, make sure that whoever says they're selling an Indigo River house actually has it, you know, and you can check with us. And if um, the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. That's, that's so. another one. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye. Bye, y'all.